It's November 4th, and the wait is over. 3i Atlas has officially come out from behind the sun. It's back in the night sky, and amateur astronomers around the world are finally getting their first new look at it since perihelion. And what they're seeing? It's bright, it's blue, and shedding material like crazy. Over the weekend, long exposure shots from Europe, South America, and Australia started surfacing online. They are showing 3i's tail stretching further every night. That tail isn't just dust, it's gas, water, vapor, and carbon compounds being cooked off as the comet heats up. In fact, the brightness spike confirms that the outgassing is ramping hard, meaning this thing's alive and it's active as it moves away from the sun. Some frames even show that strange electric blue hue. That's not alien lights. That's ionized gases glowing under sunlight, mostly carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide. It's the same process that makes neon signs glow, just in space. Now, if you've got a serious backyard telescope, you can already catch it low on the horizon in the early morning hours. For everyone else, the big observatories, I know they're silent, but Hubble, Webb, and the VLT will start releasing new calibrated images later this month, I promise. And the best, most detailed photos will come around December 19th when it makes its closest pass to Earth. It will still be tens of millions of miles away, so do not worry. So 3i Atlas is alive, it's active, it is a comet, and it's finally visible again. And now the real data starts rolling in. And you know, I'll be here to break it down. So make sure you subscribe to Mostly True Alien Stories on YouTube. Until then, is this a mostly true alien story or not?